an incredible victory for the Ultimate Warrior there, becoming the first superstar to hold the WWE and Intercontinental Championships at the same time. A truly historic feat on the grandest stage of them all. A victory that signaled a new wave of change that was about to hit all of WWE. Rowdy Roddy Piper managed to change his luck in WWE when he captured his first championship in the company at the 1992 Royal Rumble. The wrestling world rejoiced for Hot Rod as the fiery superstar showed true emotion in the moment, revealing how much it meant to him. Once the most reviled man on the roster, he was now appreciated for his authenticity. Everyone was happy for him, except for one guy. Bret the Hitman Hart had changed his status in WWE in the spring and summer of 1991. When his legendary Hart Foundation amicably split the team, Bret would use the opportunity to springboard up the singles rankings, winning the Intercontinental Championship at SummerSlam that year. Wanting to be an active champion, Bret faced off against all comers, finding victory each time out. Until a few nights prior to the 1992 Royal Rumble, when Hart lost the Intercontinental Championship. And before he could get a rematch, Piper had swooped in and won the thing. The last thing the Hitman wanted to do was ruin Roddy Piper's moment. The two were close. Piper had trained in the family dungeon and spoke glowingly of not only Brett, but his entire family. I gotta tell you how much I love your family. I gotta tell you how much I love your mom. I know you, I know this guy since he's been loud knee high to a grasshopper. Respectfully, the two agreed to compete at WrestleMania 8, which would emanate from Indianapolis, Indiana. But Piper understood that many felt Brett lost that title at less than 100% and that he'd have to defeat Hart in the ring to get those people on his side. And while both men claimed they'd keep it respectful, most everyone understood what happens when you push Roddy Piper to the edge. And trying to take something from Roddy Piper is one way to do it, especially when it's the first title he ever held in WWE. And so it was Bret Hart's technical mastery against Roddy Piper's street fight in an unheralded classic was produced by two absolute masters of their craft. And while they both tried to keep it friendly, he just knew it wasn't gonna last. Nearly 20 furious minutes of action unfolded between the two, each with near victories along the way. Blood, sweat, and tears was never more appropriate. The two gave their all on the goal of earning the WWE Intercontinental Championship. So get in there and do your best to beat Roddy Piper to the punch. But beating Hot Rod is no easy task, even if you are the best there is, the best there was, or the best there ever will be. Heading into the match, the smart money was on Roddy Piper resorting to his brawling tactics. But he looked to try and wrestle with Bret Hart at the start, which led to predictable results with Bret outmaneuvering Piper. A fuming Piper would spit at the hitman. Would Piper's desire to win and be champion override his desire to play fair? Could Hart use Piper's legendary temper as a constant exploit? Piper was already reverting to the man people knew him to be, and Hart was looking to exploit that fiery temper by embarrassing Piper as often as possible. Piper continued to show glimpses of the old Hot Rod, but still tried to play by the rules. He was desperate to remain champion, but his respect for Hart and his family kept him from unleashing that old demon inside. And Hart used that to his advantage, tricking Piper by feigning a shoulder injury after landing awkwardly on a dropkick. Piper, understandably, was not amused by this one bit. Piper slapped a taste out of Hart for gold-bricking, as Bobby Heenan famously called it, and this once friendly competition was turning into the heated brawl many figured it would become. The tension was growing between the two, but they were still trying to keep it sportsmanlike. The Hitman sent both tumbling to the floor with a cross body.
Piper would respond by holding the ropes for Hart to re-enter. Hart was hesitant, but ultimately accepted. And that was the information Piper needed, that Hart trusted him. Piper would immediately violate that trust by telling Brett his boot was untied and unloading a huge sucker punch. The gloves were off, and the two were in a fight for survival. Hart wanted to use little tricks, while Piper just suckered him with the old, your shoes untied. A huge shot from Piper, and it looks like the With tempers boiling, Piper manages this well-timed shove of Hart to knock the official down. And if you think that was accidental, then you don't know Roddy Piper. As soon as the official goes down, you see the old hot rod start to appear. He's brawling with Hart at ringside. He's throwing him into the ring steps. And then he grabs the ring bell. Hart's down on the mat, can barely move, and Piper's telling him to get up. As you see the sneer on Piper's face, like, this is your fault, man. As Piper measures Hart up for the bell shot, you can see the inner struggle. What would the Hart family think about this? What would your fans think about this? How could you look Bret Hart in the eye if you win it this way? And he keeps lifting the bell as if he's going to use it, and you're wondering which Roddy Piper is going to win out, the angel or the devil? And then he does the right thing and tosses the bell aside. In an instant, he's got Hart in a sleeper hole. Piper has Hart beat, but the Hitman had one more counter up his sleeve, trapping Piper in the pinning combination while still in the sleeper hole. More amazing was how the instant the match was over, the respect between the two immediately returned.